ist das? Was ist das? Oh, Tsunami. Ja? Det kommer igen här. true extent of devastation but the real impact of catastrophe on this once prosperous region can only be felt here where heavy machinery now chews up the mangled remains of Anja a town until last Friday now a mass grave here and there we saw reminders that this was once a place of the living Here and there we saw reminders that this was once a place of the living. There is a tragedy under every pile of bricks here, but we found the worst tragedy under this pile. Hard to believe, but this used to be a street. On Friday morning, 400 school children took part in a national day parade when the earthquake struck. In a period of six weeks from late July to the end of August, over 15,000 people were killed in France by heat exhaustion, dehydration and heat stroke. Most of the dead were elderly, left to perish in a city deserted for the annual August holiday. On one day alone, a day that's now known as Black Monday, 3,000 Parisians died. Le... The famous Black Monday when around 3,000 people died in Paris in one night. Never during the Second World War did so many people die in one night in Paris, even during the bombings. We were dealing with things on such a scale. Paris had never had that many victims in one go. found anyone alive here under the wreckage of the school was this morning but they still believe that there are children somehow surviving underneath this rubble and that's why the relief effort is going to continue until every parent finds out what's happened to his or her child here outside the school rescuers bring from another building almost everywhere you turn in Hanwang buildings look like they've been blown away this clock has stopped at just before half past two the moment the earthquake happened. Those who've lost their homes now have to live by the side of the road. That every day, 290 people are killed by FDA-approved prescription drugs. And that's the conservative number published by the Journal of the American Medical Association. The source of this information, JAMA, Volume 284, Number 4, July 26, 2000, authored by Dr. Barbara Starfield, MD, of the John Hopkins School of Hygiene and Public Health. That study, which is 12 study, which is 12 years old, and drug deaths have risen considerably since then, documents 106,000 deaths per year from the adverse effects of FDA-approved prescription medications. To reach this number from outbreaks of violent shootings, you'd have to see an Aurora, Colorado Batman movie massacre take place every hour of every day, 365 days a year.